The hashtag MeToo became the top trending Twitter hashtag Sunday night as mostly women spoke up about how common sexual harassment and sexual assault are. The movement started by actress Alyssa Milano drew over 200,000 responses by the morning. And the tweet comes in response to the Harvey Weinstein scandal in Hollywood. Joining us live now to talk about the impact of these online campaigns is media expert Tony Chapman. Tony, we've seen uh, a lot of these uh, types of campaigns pop up. This one was very simple, just the hashtag Me Too. Why are they so effective? I think this one is powerful because it was almost like this iceberg. Underneath the surface was there so many women that had been impacted by assaults and had never said anything. And suddenly this iceberg tipped in one night just by saying Me Too. Share your stories. Let's show that we have strength in numbers. And the fact that 200,000 of these stories appeared almost immediately, and now with Facebook, they're getting more in-depth. It just shows that this is a problem in society that hasn't been addressed and more often than not has been buried, put under the cover. So we had Alyssa Milano start about Lady Gaga, tweeted uh, Deborah Messing, Anna Paquin, Evan Rachel Wood. I want to uh, show you what she actually uh, tweeted out. So uh, she said, because I was shamed and considered a party girl, I felt I deserved it. I shouldn't have been there. I shouldn't have been bad. And she uh, hashtagged me too. Um, you know, so many people, so many yeah. celebrities of power, I guess, using yeah. their power and their, their social reach to talk about this. Do you think it, would, it will enact change? It's one of the great things about social media. There's a lot of bad things. One of the great things is you can rally an army of David. So you can take a, a cause and bring a lot of people together. Mm -hmm. When you bring celebrities who know they're putting their career out front, because there's going to be a lot of onions being peeled back in Hollywood. This is not mm -hmm. going to be just Weinstein and they're all coming out now sharing their stories. There's going to be a huge spotlight on it. I think it's admirable that they're doing it because they're putting their career on the line. It's the right thing to do. I think they're feeling great about doing it, but they're doing, they're doing it with a potential price in their head. You know, even after uh, the Cosby scandal, we saw other hashtags like, yes, all women, even here after Gomeshi yeah. in, in Canada. Uh, another hashtag, uh, what were you wearing, right? That was a, a popular yeah. one as well. Uh, are real conversations being had, though, or is it just becoming white noise? Like, is it actually going to make a difference? I think in this case it is, because a great brand is all about head, heart, and hands. I get it immediately. There's an emotional connection that changes my behavior. There's a couple of things that are happening. I'm publicizing my stories, and you're suddenly seeing how big of a snowball this is. But it's also making people think, and it's making people go, this isn't the right behavior. This wasn't just a, a wink, as Woody Allen called it. This, mm -hmm. is, this is me exercising power in a way I shouldn't have been. And I think that's going to open up a lot of eyes. Now, it's going to be a pendulum. It's going to swing along the way this way. Society will always show that when the change happens, it happens quick. But if it comes back and finds an equilibrium and we start erasing this as part of the way we behave, between each other, I think it's going to do a lot of good. Do you think it'll make people come out of the woodworks that perhaps were witnesses to this and remain silent? Uh, they were the, the observers who saw it happen and just looked the other way. Yeah, I mean, I, they're guilty by association. If they uh, had anything to do with it, knew about it, they kind of turned a blind eye because of the seduction of a script mm -hmm. or the power of Hollywood or what this individual represented, they're certainly guilty. And I think some of them are coming out now because they want to get this off their back. Others are probably coming out because their spin doctors are saying, you better get in front of this now because the next time they peel back a layer off that onion, it could be your name attached to it. So it's a combination of the two. It is going to be, this story is not going to end in a day or two like a lot of stories nowadays in social media. This is going to go on and on and on. But I think when it gets to the right place, mm -hmm. it's going to be a huge wake-up call for a lot of people. Right. All right, Tony, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.